It has been a very long time since I posted a video on YouTube for you. And the reason for that is because what I'm about to show you took me like two weeks to do and I'm not done. Um, I'm nowhere near done. So what I decided to do because I missed you guys so much was create itty bitty cute little pins of your guys' art projects that I could send you while we're all the way being locked in <laughs> during this coronavirus pandemic. So I'm gonna show you step by step all of the different things I did, all the different tools I used. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video, enjoy some time with me, and I am going to actually be doing this like two-part series. I have one final step and then I'll be sending them out. So in part two, you'll be able to see my continuation and sending them on out to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. It was honestly really fun making these and it was really fun editing this too. So sit back, relax. And well, first is I went into your Google Classroom and wrote down what you guys said were your favorites. Then I downloaded them and move them all into one document together, place them onto an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Try to get as many on the sheets as I could because these sheets are kind of expensive. I heard from somewhere that you are supposed to lighten the color because when they actually print out, the color is a lot darker. I went in and lowered the opacity a bit on everything so that it would be lighter. Now, it is time to print. And oh, did I have fun doing this. First of all, ran out of ink, had to order ink through Amazon, had to wait for it to be delivered. Then it was time to take out the old ink cartridge, try my hand at a little editing magic, uh, not so much, and install the new one. Install my trusty USB drive with, of course, the files I needed on it. I'm uh, gonna do a JPEG print. Oh, snap. Uh, I think all my images are PNG files. Well, let's see. Gentlemen, this is a test. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's not bringing any of them up. What do I do? Um, uh, let's, let's 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 try to make them all JPEGs. Seven failed attempts later. Miraculously got them printed, even though I forgot to tape that footage. Um, and now it's time to cut them all. creating these pins is some parchment paper. Got all your pins here. I need to lay them out at least one inch from each other. Because when they go in the oven, they could roll up. It's at 350 or 400 degrees, so I guess I'll do 350 just to make sure we're good. <laughs> Oven's ready. Here's some of the pins I've got. We're gonna put them in for two minutes. Ooh, smells very plasticky. Ah, oh, they've 
spots are tiny. Okay, I'm gonna need spatula to flatten some stuff out. I'm gonna need one more sheet of parchment paper to lay it out on once they come out hot. And they're gonna come out hot. Hot. Oh, they look very cool. Hot. Luke's has definitely curled up and it's like on its side now. I'm gonna need to get that one first. Got 12 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Smoosh. Ooh, Eliza, how do I save yours? It's gonna be very hot. Hot. Oh, I don't think there is saving yours, Eliza. It just kind of looks cool like that. Oh, these are very neat. Make sure they're all flat. Ouch. And they're pretty cool to the touch now. See, Eliza, yours got a little funky how it like curled up here in length, which is surprising because Leslie, yours was definitely the biggest and yours is totally straight, so. That's interesting. Ooh, and it made um, Leslie's look almost kind of like a cool sepia tone, which is neat. So it's not like perfectly black and white. All right, for the next set, Andy, Deus, Jaren, Anthony, Trey, Christian. Let's do this again. Two of these are really good, but like all the other four have curled up. So I'm gonna see what happens if I take the two out, but leave the rest. Oof, okay, don't do that. That leaves texture on it. Very cool, a little bit. Yep, and these guys just aren't flattening either. Might have to be a redo. Definitely can't unstick them. They're very stuck. Darn it. Those will have to be in the do-over pile. Time for some more. Instead, I could put a piece of parchment paper on top in case this happens. So I might try that. Those look pretty darn cool in there. Not sure how much the paper is helping since I can't see. Um, the Arizona State Pen is, did not go well. You can see this is Anthony's and it got all rolled up. So that's, that's unfortunate because that's a really cool pen. Round three. Come on. Flatten out, buddy. Ouch. Well, this was a much more successful batch. Yeah, check it out. These ended up pretty darn cool. Um, this one, <laughs> this one, his arms and legs had stuck together, but I was able to split them apart, which is great. Um, Emmy's completely flipped over. <laughs> so there's Emmy's. They came out looking amazing. Look at how three-dimensional this one looks, even though it's flat. I'm really impressed with how um, the detail looks on these like it didn't lose any of the detail the only thing i'm a little upset about is my printer it did let you know some of the lines come through and some of the weak spots because it is a really old printer but i'm really happy with these so far let's do more james vance's dr pepper logo brian wallace of a typographic portrait alex ann's shampoo project i'm interested to see what happens to those nozzles here's betty's wpap portrait let's pop this paper on here because that worked really well last time let's go for round four Spyro, no, flatten. Pretty happy with those. The Dr. Pepper. We have Betty's WPAP portrait. Portrait that Paris made. This one is of her sister and her mom. You can see I couldn't really get that little corner off, but it still looks pretty darn beautiful. The subject matter helps, of course. Alex Ann's shampoo bottles. Look at how tiny. Brian's typographic portrait. Look at that. You can see all of the words too. Isn't that cool? These are like a really hard plastic. See, I can't bend them or squish them. Very cool. And it looks like we're ready for round five. Hot. Mm -hmm. That one got dirty. It is a clean spatula I used before. Maybe some of the ink is transferring from one uh, pin to the other from my spatula, some of them are getting a little dirty. This second Dr. Pepper that James made is done for. Seth, 
This is Evan's typography. Really impressed with the detail. This is Alia's typography piece. This one's kind of warped. It's um, a bit bigger on the bottom than it is on the top. Deja's typography portrait. That looks amazing. Another shoe that Patrick made. Made by Abby. This one is by Armando. I believe it's a video game character. And I think he's so tiny, the camera can't even focus on him. There he is. Benjamin made for his first WPAP project. This one is by Kiana. Definitely gonna give this one another shot. This is Jaren's and is just totally rolled up on him. I'm definitely going to do Trey's WPAP portrait again because his did roll up on him also. Christian's flowers. You can't even tell what that is. Ow. Burn myself. That's not the burn. That's the burn. Ow. hope you enjoyed that video. It sure was fun to make. What I'm going to do right now is show you all of the different materials I use. Description box below will be used to post links for what I bought and maybe a couple alternates for you as well just in case you're interested. I got this whole idea by watching Moira Elizabeth. She does art and crafts and fun projects and she's just hilarious to watch and she did a hundred pins video. Now she uses a different kind of paper. Her paper is kind of coarse and see-through and she you can actually draw on it. She draws on hers with colored pencil or Posca paint markers. So that could be an interesting experiment for next time. This shrink paper is specifically used for an inkjet printer where you can actually print onto the paper, cut it out, and then it shrinks to those tiny little pins. So it looks just like a normal eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It is a little thicker and a little plasticky feeling to it as well. This is all I saved from the packaging. It is a new fun activities shrink with ink paper. It works with an inkjet printer, so if you have another type of printer, I do not know how successfully that will work. If you do not know if your printer is inkjet, uh, just check out the model number online, Google search it, and it'll usually tell you. It actually gives you instructions. Fun fact, I did not use these instructions. Once you print out the designs, you do need to print them just a, a tad lighter than they naturally would be because as the ink shrinks, the colors do get a little bit more saturated and darker. The prints also do not come out perfect right away. They actually look a little bit of a mess at first. Just go with it, just bake them and see what happens. The size that I printed them out was three inches because it does shrink everything to about a third of its original size. Fun fact, when I was watching Moira Elizabeth's video, she did have an issue with the type of paper that she was using splitting um, when the cuts got a little too complicated. With this paper, I didn't have that problem. Um, every It was really nice. Everything cut really smoothly. It is a bit harder than normal paper, so my hands did get tired with the scissors pretty quick, but I didn't have problems with the plastic like breaking off and splitting and ruining the design, so that was nice. The next thing that we did is heated the oven to 350 degrees, preheat, do all that good stuff. I put everything on a piece of parchment paper, baking sheet, um, just something to make sure that it's nonstick. Set a timer for two minutes. After those two minutes, uh, get it out of the oven really quick and flatten down anything that might have rolled up. The next step, which I haven't shown in the video yet, is Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Um, this actually gives your pins a really cool, glossy, uh, protective layer over them. So I'm gonna show this in the next video. I decided to cut this video where it was because first of all, it was getting pretty long and second of all, I also needed a break. Uh, so I haven't been working on this project for about a week because I've been editing it. So uh, I'll see you guys later for part two and I hope you enjoyed. Miss you guys, bye.